Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, welcome to another job tutorial, I'm Titos, and um, so last time we went over abstract classes, um, this is the abstract class we made, uh, it was really simple, it was really easy, um, now we're going to go over another type of class, um, we are going to go over an interface, so um, let's call this salary up date listener right so you can do a lot of different things with an interface in fact i like to think of an interface as like a a more abstract a, a class for a lot of abstraction <laughs> all right so um you could do a lot of things with salary update listener in fact we could have made this career class an interface um and we could have had doctor uh, implement career um you know do all that stuff but um today we're going to be using an interface for something really simple we'll be working more with interfaces later on um in this java series but um here actually let me give you an example so if i did a void um set total or set set all sally this is just an example i'm not really going to test this or anything but uh we could say like integer num or whatever um and then we um went over here and we made this implement salary update listener and uh there we go we could have that uh it, it's it's used differently and it can be used differently um but today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using salary update listener to make kind of an event. So if I did void on salary update, and we can add parameters. So we're going to do the previous ah, I could type previous salary, um, the new salary. and the difference right so i'm just going to be doing this right now i'm not going to make any class implemented or anything i'm just going to be giving you guys a really simple um example of how to use this so we have on salary update uh now if we go let's go to our career class and uh we'll, we'll make something so public void set salary update listener and then salary update listener salary update listener okay so we also need to make that uh, a variable so protected uh, salary update listener here let me move my microphone salary update listener okay so this uh, salary update listener equals salary update listener Okay, so um, let's say we uh, we go here um, just as an example, and we were to say doctor, which is our career dot set salary update listener new salary update listener. So basically, it's giving us the entire class in this parameter. I could add more, but um, right now we're just going to be doing this. Right? It's really simple to do. Um, and it's good for organizing code. It's good for many things. But um, now we need to we need to do something with this uh, with this class or right here this new class we've made. Um, so uh, we're going to go to the career, and we're going to say when they set the salary, uh, we're going to run this. So. Um, uh, integer previous salary equals salary since we haven't set salary to the new salary 
it'll be the previous salary. Uh, integer new salary equals salary. Uh, so because this is what they're setting the salary to, so it's the new salary. Integer difference equals. Now we're gonna use the math class to get this because we want to get the um, absolute value. So that if maybe the new salary is lower, it, it won't matter. Um, so this is how to get the absolute value. We're, I'll be going over the math class a lot more uh, later on. But now we're going to say previous salary minus new salary. Okay. So now we have the previous salary, the new salary, and the difference. Right? So now we can say um, salary update. Salary update listener. Uh, okay, so now we we've done used this. So it's setting the salary update listener and everything inside it to this right here. So we can essentially access anything they have put in into this parameter uh, here. Um, dot on salary update. Uh, uh, dot on salary update. Uh. Uh, okay, so then previous salary, new salary, uh, uh, and then difference. Now, uh, to make sure that this isn't null at any point, um, we're just going to add something here, uh, just to make sure it's not null. Um, okay, so let's go... Um, over here and now we can put anything in here and because right here we're calling it it'll run um, on set salary so we're going to say system dot out dot print line the employer has changed the salary for plus doctor or yeah, but get name. Okay. Um, the new salary is a lot of dollar sign here. Um, and then new salary. Um, or actually wait. The uh, previous salary was. And then previous salary. Um, the new salary is um, the difference is There we go. Um, so now, whenever we use dot set salary or we update the salary, then it'll send this message, right? So let's try that. We'll say doctor dot set salary. We'll make it two hundred thousand. Okay. So let's run this. And as you can see, all right. So we have the first message from right here. Um, and then since we set the salary it's running our on salary update so the employer has changed the salary for doctor the previous salary was two hundred thousand oh whoops <laughs> uh we need to go here we need to fix that so uh previous salary out oh, we need to make it this dot salary because salary is getting this parameter okay let's run that again there we go. So a new company hiring doctor. The salary is one hundred fifty thousand. All right. So the employer has changed the salary for doctor. The previous salary was one hundred fifty thousand. The new salary is two hundred thousand. The difference is fifty thousand. So uh, that's just a really simple way to use an interface. Of course, interfaces can be used for many different ways. Uh, it can be used, uh, for example, for this career class, could be used uh to make many different things um but in a more abstract way um we will be going over uh 
interfaces and we'll be using them a lot more in later uh, ep in later episodes of this tutorial so um, you guys can get a better grasp and concept or a grasp of the concept of an interface and uh, other ways you can use them so I hope you guys enjoyed I hope uh, I helped out if you guys have any questions you can join the TSC discord in the description and uh, I'll talk to you guys later peace